Right, the last couple of exercises that I'd like you to expose yourself to, and again, let me stress that this should be done in a fun environment, okay? So there's no competing against each other, there's no trying to hurt each other. It should be done in a fun environment. You should see it as a warm-up and attribute training for the techniques that you're gonna learn. Right, the next thing we're gonna do is simulate certain scenarios when somebody's grabbing hold of you. And uh, before you do any kind of techniques, before you do any kind of dirty fighting, like poking your fingers in the guy's eyes or anything like that, I want you to build up that resistance training, that isometric resistance, so you can develop your body to become stronger and fitter and endure this battle that you're gonna face in the street. So the first one is where Brennan grabs neck right over the arms, over the arm bear hug. Now again, when your partner does this, he shouldn't be squeezing and uh, where Nick can't breathe at all. Do it progressively. So he just holds on, and Brennan's goal is gonna be just to try and hold on to Nick. Nick is just gonna try and wrestle and break free out of this. Okay, so let's watch him for five seconds. Yeah, and Tommy breaks free, then they swap. Okay, then Nick grabs Brendan, same drill, just nice and relaxed, just wrestle. Doesn't matter if you don't know any techniques, just try and build up that isometric wrestling composure to get rid of it. Okay, the next one is where he grabs underneath the arms, from the front still, underneath the arms. Okay, so you got over the arms, under the arms. Okay, same thing, you're just gonna wrestle to try and get out of this. Okay, and swap, other side. Same thing, wrestle. Okay, and the whole thing that we're working on right now is escape, okay? The whole idea behind the exercises is to escape. Right, then we do it from the back, same thing. Over the arms, grab hold, and Nick will work himself out of this. Push away, and change. Okay, then we swap around again. Now underneath the arms. Same thing, but underneath the arms. Work yourself out of it. Okay, then change the other side. Okay, the next common position is the side headlock. Okay, so they grab each other in the side headlock. Okay, very common in the street self-defense. So again, Brennan is just gonna try and hold on, and let me stress again, you're not gonna try and crank the person's neck and bust the spine. You're just gonna give him some kind of resistance so he can feel what he's gonna do in this scenario. Okay, so Nick takes a few seconds to get out of there, go. Okay, then we swap. Same thing, side headlock. Just push out of it. Okay, then the coach, if you're coaching people or you, you're training yourself, you can set different time levels. So you can say, all right, you've got five seconds to get out of there. You've you got 10 seconds, you've got 30 seconds. And then uh, obviously the longer ones, the guy must be a little bit more intense to try and hold you there for 30 seconds. Okay, all right, the last exercise I'd like you to do is uh, what we call clinch fighting, or it's really close quarter fighting, which the techniques you're gonna learn later on in this DVD. So basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna to attach to each other, and this is gonna be a free round where both are gonna be attacking and defending at the same time. So they're gonna be attaching, and the first one they're gonna do is to try and go for each other's eyes. Now again, they're not gonna try and take the tip of the thumb and thrust it through the eyeball. They're just gonna place their thumbs, okay? Slight pressure, place their thumbs there. So if I'm putting my thumbs on Nick's eyes like this, this means he has to release it. He can't continue playing the game and keep my thumbs on his eyes here. He has to try and get rid of this. And at the same time, while I'm doing this, he's trying to get me as well. So I need to try and get rid of his and we're just going for the eyes. Okay, couple of seconds. Okay, so again, in a fun environment, they're just trying to go for each other's eyes and stop. All right, the next area of concern is the throat. So same concept. You can go double grab, you can go single grab, and obviously he's gonna be grabbing your throat as well. Okay, let's go have fun. Okay, and they stay attached the whole time. Okay, and stop. Right, the third main target that you're gonna go for is the groin. Now, if you haven't got these protectors on that they've got on, you can still do the same draw by slapping on the inside of the leg. Besides slapping, you can also learn to grab. Okay, when somebody's grabbing hold of you and you grab hold of the groin, yeah, it does create some opportunity for you. So they're gonna be slapping the groin or even grabbing hold of it, but they're still gonna be attached to each other. Okay, let's try. Okay, and 
don't stop. Right. Then the last exercise is where you're going to combine the eyes, throat, and groin. Okay, because now they don't know which one is coming up and they'll have to defend all those main target areas. Okay, so all three targets. Okay, and relax. Right, and let me stress again, you don't have to go to their level. Okay, if this is the first time you're exposing yourself to self-defense training, take it very easy, have fun with it. It should be a fun game to uh, expo expose yourself to and to learn from you.